Hi everyone, my name is Virginia Wade and I'm going to tell you about an experience I had with going back in time. I went on a vacation to Spokane, Washington and I was walking around the shops and then I walked over to this old train station and I saw all the cars were parked on the streets and a lot of people were walking around and there was all this activity and and I thought well that's interesting uh, this train station it looks like no one's using it anymore and I looked at the railroad tracks and looked at the building and I thought well they're certainly not using this anymore and I thought well I'm gonna go up and look in the window so I walked up to the train station and looked in the window and it was empty but then when I turned around something had changed and I looked and it was like a desert uh, there were no cars anywhere no people walking around uh, no shops it was like an empty land and it just had the railroad tracks going down and I thought what has happened uh, what's going on here because where are the cars where are the people where's the noise and it was very quiet and I looked around and I thought this is really weird I think I've gone back in time uh, to either the early 1900s or 1800s or I'm not sure but I thought this is too weird so then I started walking around the train station and when I looked back into the window and then I turned around again it seemed like everything was back to normal again the cars were there the people were walking around the shops were there and I was so glad I ran from that train station and I ran over to the shops and I thought, boy, I'm getting out of that area because it could have been like a vortex area or a place where you would go back into time, like a portal. And I thought, I'm not going near there again. And I went back into the shops and uh, walked around like everybody else. Uh, and fortunately, everything was back to normal. But that was a little frightening and it was kind of bizarre. Um, so that's that story. I want to tell you about another story about in Las Vegas. I would go visit my friend on the west side and he lived way up on Buffalo and and near Sahara there, Durango, uh, Buffalo, Sahara area. And I would drive down to Rainbow, go down Rainbow, turn left on Tropicana, and go home and I did this three times a week so I was driving home and everything seemed normal I was on rainbow and but then when I came up to the intersection of rainbow and Tropicana something had changed and something was wrong because usually on the right there would be a gas station and there wasn't a gas station and then up on Tropicana, when you turn left, there's usually a Walgreens there, and there was no Walgreens. It looked like a desert. And I thought, well, this is impossible because, you know, the gas station and the Walgreens are always there. I thought, well, maybe I didn't look at the sign right. And I looked at the signs again, I double-checked them, and it said Rainbow, and then I went to Tropicana, it said Tropicana, and I thought, something's really weird. But I turned left on Tropicana, and I lived down between Jones and uh, Decatur at that time. This was back in 2005 again. A lot of things happened back then. So I'm driving down Tropicana, and I keep driving, I keep driving, and then you come to... Um, Torrey Pines, then you're going to come to Jones, and then you're going to go to Decatur. That's how it, the streets go. Well, I got down to 
Torrey Pines, and I passed that. And then the next intersection should have been um, Jones. But it wasn't. It was Rainbow and Tropicana again. I go, well, that's impossible. I just went through Rainbow and Tropicana. This was like 10 minutes ago. I just passed through there. So I looked at the signs again. I saw the Walgreens there on Tropicana. And I saw the gas station off of Rainbow there, uh, which is normal. And I looked at the signs again, and it said Tropicana and Rainbow, and I thought, this is impossible. I'm going to drive back and find that intersection I saw that did not have the gas station or the Walgreens, Rainbow and Tropicana. So I drove all the way back the other direction. I never found it. Never found it, so I turned my car around and proceeded to go home. And when I got home, I looked at my watch. And my watch, I had missing time. I had been, well, the missing time was about an hour, an hour of missing time. And I thought, well, this is impossible. What happened? Because I don't remember anything. I just remember that that intersection was like going back in time. It did not have a gas station and it did not have a Walgreens and it was like all desert. And then when I was close to going home, all of a sudden I saw the same intersection again. I thought this doesn't make sense. So then I just proceeded. I kept driving and driving and I finally got to Jones um, and then I got home, uh, you know, towards Decatur but I thought, what was that about? I had missing time of at least an hour. And so that's the story. I never did figure out what really happened because I thought I was conscious this whole time. If I got abducted or something, um, I had no memory of it. Very strange. So that's the other story about time and so I'll go ahead and close now and then in the next video we'll talk more about some of these unusual happenings so if you like the video like below if you want to subscribe uh, go ahead and my website is opendoorswithin.com and I also have a series on spirits and ghosts communication on YouTube so you may want to check that out, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.